Hello, in this simple tutorial, I'll be showing you I can easily edit a photo in Camps Photoshop from the start to the very end. And in this, we're going to be learning screen retouching and color grading for outdoor images in Camps Photoshop. And in case you want to download this raw image to follow along with this tutorial, simply hit the like button on the video and don't forget to check the link in the description of this very video so that you can download the raw image so that you can follow along with this very tutorial. So I've imported the raw image that I took a while back. So for this, I'll simply first of all work on the image to correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image so i'll just come to the basic adjustments right here in camera row and take the highlights down and do the same for the whites to recover information within uh, the skin area of the subject and i'll take the blacks down and i'll simply open up the shadows of the image and i'll just come and add contrast to this very image and open up the exposure just a little bit of this very image so after doing that, I'll simply come the white balance and simply warm up the image because I feel like warm images are very easy to color grade regarding the skin tones. So after I've done that, I'll simply scroll to my color mixer. And most of you know, I love to use the color mixer tool when it comes to color grading. So hue is changing a color. Saturation is the intensity of a color. Luminous is the brightness level of a color. So I'll come the hues and I try to change the greens of this very image. And as you know, I love the greens to pop of most of the images that I tend to edit. And I'll come the saturation and reduce on the intensity of the greens in this photo. So you can play around with this to see what works best for you. So I'll just leave it there and let it pop. So you can do it either way you want. So for this, this is okay for me. And I'll simply scroll to make the image pop under calibration so i'll just come to the blue primary and simply take up the saturation slide that around a point whereby i have the image to pop before after so after that i'll simply go and open the image in photoshop by clicking on open in order to open the photo in photoshop so in photoshop you're just going to be doing the skin retouching on the image and the color grading and other basic color grading options so in Photoshop, I'll simply come and duplicate the background la layer by pressing Ctrl J. You can simply press Command J twice. So press it twice to create those two layers. Then double click on this layer, name it to color. Then double click on the topmost layer and name it to texture. And after doing that, select the color layer, turn off the texture layer. Then simply come to filter, blur, come to Gaussian blur. And it's going to open up the Gaussian blur dialog box right here. So take the radius slider down and click on an area on the skin that seems to have more skin textures or details and blur away those details. So take up the radius slider and stop at the point whereby the details in the skin are just starting to disappear from uh, the skin textures and click OK. Select the texture layer now activate it. Then simply come to image, apply image and it's going to open up the apply image dialog box right here in Photoshop. The source is the name of the photo that you're editing. Under layer, select the color layer always. The channel has to be RGB. So you, we are editing a 16-bit image. So blending has to be add for 16-bit image. The scale is to offset 0. And turn on the invert option. And you'll see the textures on this gray kind of layer. In case you have 8 here, it means the image is 8-bit. And these are the settings for an 8-bit image. So simply come. Use the blend mode of subtract. The scale is to offset 128. And make sure invert is not turned on. And you'll have basically the same results so i'll change my settings to 16-bit settings and click ok change the blend mode from normal under the blend modes change it from normal to linear light and select both layers then press ctrl g or command g on the keyboard to group these layers open up the group or the frequency separation group and select the color layer then after that, that we are just going to come and turn off the texture or high frequency layer then you're going to come to the brushes, right click and get the Mr. Brush tool. In case you can't locate the Mr. Brush tool under the brushes, you can locate the Mr. Brush tool under this option. So for settings for every tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to display above there. So make sure you select clean brush and this second option that says clean brush after each stroke. You're going to be using a weight of 9%, load 75%, mix 90, flow at 100%. Then make sure sample alias is not turned on. So you just want to smoothen the skin of the subject or of the model to have even skin tone transition. So how are we going to do this? We're going to be using the Mr. Brush tool. 
And by the way, to increase or reduce on the size of the Mr. Brush tool, you can use the open and close bracket or the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard. So how do we paint or how do we blend? We simply left click and hold down and simply drag in a given direction to blend color. So you mix the midtones alone, the highs alone and the shadows alone. So as you're doing all this, make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in, you won't be able to see the uneven skin tone transitions in the areas that you're trying to work on or blend. So you can see that we have this dark area. That is why later on we have to even out the skin tone transitions by color grading this very image so that you can have even skin color or even skin tone transitions. So I'll reduce on the size of the brush tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard to paint on a small area but as I'm doing all this I am not zooming all the way in because I want to see and identify every single area that has or contains an even skin tone transitions and by the way in case your mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon like this make sure you deactivate the caps lock key on the keyboard so I'll simply even out the tones like that so I've evened out the body and it now looks nice and smooth. So after evening out the body, let's zoom in slightly to work on the face. So I use a small. So by the way, as you're doing all this, basically you have to understand that you are trying to blend the transitions between the skin tones and try to blend the colors within the skin tone. So don't drag color from one area to another. How to blend, like I said, left click and hold down and you try to brush and after brushing on a given area release the left click button and left click once again and blend on a brand new area and in that way you're going to be able to create even and smooth skin for your model or your subject so when it comes to the nose you can see I'm blending in an up down kind of direction because the nose is also moving in this up and down direction mix the midtones alone the highest alone and the shadows alone so as you can see that we are now worked or we have now worked on the first area of the subject so after that just come and turn on the texture or high frequency layer to see what you have been able to work on regarding this very image so after blending every area and you feel like you're comfortable with the results you can see before after select the texture layer and now come and get the clone stamp tool and measure the settings the mode is set to normal or pass in the flat hundred percent align this check and the sample is set to current layer because you want to remove blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer which is the texture layer so you have to zoom in by using command plus or control plus on the keyboard so to remove pimples or blemishes from the skin we simply hold down the option key on the keyboard for windows tears the alternate key on the keyboard option and left click on a clean area near the pimple and release the option key on the keyboard and left click once again to replace the pimple with clean skin so you have to keep on sampling and copying by pressing the option key or the alt key depending on where the pimple is because these pimples or blemishes are located in areas that have different skin tones that's why you have to keep on sampling and painting using the option or the alternate key on the keyboard so i'm just going to try to eliminate this line right there hold on the option key on the keyboard and left click and simply draw over that line and that line is going to be replaced easily and quickly so I'll just come and close the group you can see before after and after doing that it's time to work on the skin tone so how are you going to work on the skin tone so i'm simply going to press shift option command e shift alternate control e for windows shift option command e for mac shift alternate control e for windows then i'm just going to come to select so that i can select the subject the reason for selecting the subject is because i want to paint on the model's skin without having color to spill onto some areas like the background so after that i'll simply come and create a new empty layer change the empty layer blend mode from normal to color then come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool and for the settings, make sure it is soft round brush. Harden is set to zero. The mode is set to normal opacity in the flat 100%. And after that, with this new empty layer icon or layer selected, you're just going to reduce on the size 
and we just want sample color on the skin and paint that color in order to create a uniform skin color or skin tone. So I'll simply hold down the option key on the keyboard and it's going to bring up the color picker tool option and left click to sample a color. And after copying that color or sampling that color, simply start painting. And how to paint, you simply paint, left click and hold down and you paint uh, the color that you have just sampled. So I'll do this over every area that has or contains skin tones for our subject. So I'll just do this nice, easy and quick. I hope you can see uh, the results. just nice and simple so you can see by just doing this we are now achieving a uniform skin color or skin tone for our model or subject for uh, this very case study and tutorial so i'll just come and paint on the fingers just like that so we can use a very small brush to paint on the tiniest areas of the image and remember that you can you have the liberty to zoom in and in case you paint out of uh, the skin area i'll show you i can easily correct or rectify that mistake so i'll quickly paint over the skin and you can see that by just doing this we are now having a uniform skin color and we no longer have too much of the color in the skin tone or any kinds of inconsistencies so i'll press ctrl d or command d to deselect the active selection and i'll zoom in reduce on the size and paint on the areas that I may not have painted like the fingers right here on the head of the model or subject. So in case I've made a mistake in a given area, I'll show you I can easily correct or rectify that error or mistake and keep away from painting the makeup or even the lipstick of the subject. So to correct a mistake, simply come and get the eraser tool or you can press E on the keyboard and with the eraser tool selected, you can simply rub away or eliminate colors from uh, the areas that you did not want to paint. You can see that we had color spilled to uh, the outfit of the model or the outfit of the subject. So with the eraser tool, we can now rectify or correct uh, this particular area. So in cases whereby you did not paint well on the skin, press B and B is going to bring up the brush once again so that you can paint back color in some particular or specific areas. So I'm just going to hold down the space bar key and press E on the keyboard. E is for the eraser and this work is to rub or erase color grading from uh, areas that are not skin in this case. So I'll press B for the brush and paint once again on this area because I feel like it wasn't painted. E for the eraser tool and erase the spill or the color that has, had spilled towards the outfit so after that i'm simply going to press ctrl minus to zoom out but this looks a little bit too orange and unnatural so just come the opacity and you can reduce on the opacity so that it can look a little bit better and a little bit more realistic i'm just going to go to with neg uh, 76 percent then come to adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come to master and simply select the reds and Come the lightness of the reds and drop it down. So I'll go with negative 18. And this helps me to reduce on the amount of oranges, especially within the models or subjective skin tone. So after that, I'll just create a black and white adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Reduce on the opacity by taking it down. So what this is going to do, it is going to add more contrast within the skin tones of our model or of the subject. So after that, we are just going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer. We are just going to come to selective color rather and simply select the blacks. Then come to see the science and this is going to help me create a more cinematic look to the image by moving the black slider towards or the sun slider towards the right hand side. So you can see by introducing more science to the blacks, it is going to remove magentas from the blacks and make the image look a little bit more cinematic. So you can even increase on the intensity of the blacks just like that. 
so that the outfit can even have a little bit more of the contrast. So in case you want to fine-tune the greens, especially in the background, you're just going to come and select the greens in this case and play around with the yellow values to see which one is going to be working better for us. So I prefer a more muted or less saturated green for this kind of subject. And you can even come and play around with the science to see what this is going to be bringing. So I feel like this is okay before after so by just doing this you can see that the image has now been transformed and it looks better from where we started so i'm just going to come to adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply come to the saturation and reduce on the saturation just like i try on negative 78 then press ctrl or co command i on the keyboard then get the brush tool and make sure the mode is set to normal opacity in the flat hundred percent and for the settings of the brush hardness set to zero Make sure you have black and white on these two colors to adjust. So in case you have another color apart from black and white, you can simply reset by pressing D on the keyboard. Or you can reset by left-clicking on these tiny squares. So make sure white is the top color or foreground color. So zoom in by using Command Plus on the keyboard. And it's time to do our beautiful eye whitening. So I'm just going to come using a white brush. I'm going to paint on the eyes to remove all these green colors or this green color cast from the white area of the eye and you can do or you can use the same technique for teeth whitening of your models or your subjects so command minus to zoom out and you can see the image has gotten to look nice and beautiful so you can even transform this image to look even better by adding skin glow or skin shine so just come adjustments and create a curves adjustment layer then scroll down and simply come and take this slider towards the left hand side until when you feel like the skin is having an overexposed highlight then you can simply right click on this layer and come to blending options and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box when it comes to photoshop then come to where you see blend if make sure it is set to gray come to where you see the underlying layer and this time around we just want to take the effect from affecting Uh, the shadow so click on these swatches or pointers and drag them from affecting uh, the shadows until when you feel like only the highlights in the image are being affected then in order to blend the effect better into the skin hold down the option key on the keyboard and move this towards the right hand side so that if you can blend well or even better into the skin click ok Select the white layer mask and press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard and get the brush tool. And for the brush tool, simply increase on the size and only paint on what you feel should have highlights in the model or subject skin. So I'll just paint just like that. And this is going to add a given glow or shine to her skin. You can see before, after, before, after. It really transforms and makes the image even look better than uh, where we started so in case you want to add contrast to the image you can even add contrast by adding a levels adjustment layer and simply take up the blacks of the levels just slightly i'll just put it to one before after just a tiny bit of contrast so let's save this very image simply come to file export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here in Photoshop, make sure the quality set to JPEG, quality set to uh, 7 for this case, and simply resample set to by cubic sharper. Then after that, just scroll down to where you see a uh, convert color space. Make sure convert sRGB and embed color profile have been checked and simply click on export. And you can save the image in whatever location that you want to save the photo. So let me show you a quick before and after for the work we have done in Photoshop. This is the image before after before after before and after so this is how you can easily edit a photo in photoshop from the start the very end and if i totally have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if i totally have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating